Sunday painter. I want to introduce you to an artist you may have not heard of, Paul Delongpre. In these short videos, we would take a quick look at an artist just to pique your curiosity to learn about a new art. Paul Delongpre, 1855 to 1911, was a French painter of flowers who worked mainly in the United States. He was born in Lyon, France in 1855 and was an entirely self-taught artist. From age 12, he practiced successfully in Paris as a painter of fans. In 1876, at 21, he first exhibited at the Paris Salon. Having lost his money by the failure of a Paris bank, he moved in 1890 to New York City and in 1896 held an exhibition of flower paintings which secured him instant recognition. De Longpre painted only perfect specimens of flowers. With a delicacy of touch and feeling for color he united scientific knowledge and art. He also knew how to give expression to the subtle essence of the flowers. Painting floral scenes almost exclusively in watercolors, in the 1900s de Longpre found inspiration in the 4,000 rose bushes he planted on his Hollywood estate. The finest of his paintings include double peach blossoms and white fringed poppies, 1902, both widely known through popular reproductions. De Longpre arrived in Los Angeles, Southern California with his family in 1899. Daida Wilcox, with husband H. H. Wilcox the founders of Hollywood, was so eager to attract culture to the town that she gave him her home site for his estate, three lots on Coenga on the north of Prospect, later Hollywood Boulevard, in exchange for three of his paintings. Paul de Longpre, with his wife Josephine and daughters Blance, Alice, and Pauline. His occupation is listed as artist, but the last name is misspelled as Delantra, it indicates Paul, Josephine, Blance, and Alice were born in France, and Pauline was born in New York City. The architect Louis Bourgeois also taught French to de Longpre's daughters, and later married Alice. Paul de Longpre died at home in Los Angeles at age 56, on June 29, 1911. Afterwards, the family moved back to France, the increased property values in rapidly developing Hollywood resulted in demolition of the gardens by 1924, and the house in 1927. One of the paintings I knew was this yard long rose painting, La France Roses by Paul de Longpre. You can find many of his works in prints for the shabby chic crowd. Hope you enjoyed this short documentary, for more subscribe to my channel, also don't forget the distressed artist tease, the link is in the description below. Have a great day and thanks for watching.